What's up, Nick's Faithful? Welcome to another Thursday edition of The Morning Drive. I'm your host, Danny B. And our Knicks played the Hawks last night at home after a rough couple games on the road. We wore our statement jerseys last night for the first time. This was supposed to be a statement game. You know, we got the Hawks at home, budding rivalry. First time we're playing them this season. It's supposed to be a statement, you know. And uh, we come out seeing RJ throw a couple lobs up to Mitch uh, early on. That was great to see. I love seeing RJ get going early. He hits another three. Mitch's positioning just continues to be great here. He's great on both ends. He's in the paint, grabbing bounds on one end, and he's getting buckets on the other. Brunson picks up two quick fouls early on, so we end up seeing Rose check in. But Randall's getting busy down low in that post. We see RJ come up with a quick steal. Leads to uh, an assist to quick for two. Uh, he also finds iHeart for three. Rose bangs in a three. And we're up 11 after the first quarter there. And we see Brunson in the second quarter start getting going. He's hitting his shots. He's creating space for guys like Obi Toppin who take advantage. They find room for a nice layup. Obi ran the floor. Puts in another nice layup. Uh, he hits a three. Hits another three. RJ hits a three and we're just rolling. We were up about 23 points at one point here in the quarter, uh, about 20 points halfway through. And then the Hawks start hitting their shots. They start sinking their threes. And just as quick as that lead went up to 23, it was only at eight as we go into halftime. And we're up 65 to 57. And we come out in the third quarter, just turning the ball over. We're throwing up air balls. And we see the Hawks just continue to dominate and they end up taking the lead. I mean, it, this was disgusting. We see RJ Barrett get a pair of buckets. He finds Randall for two. Obi gets a bucket. Quick gets a bucket. But that was it. We had 10 points in the third quarter. We had 10 turnovers in the third quarter. Just atrocious, atrocious. I was not ready for the return of the third quarter of Doom. I don't know if you were, but this was just gross. I mean, gross. We were playing great. I thought that we had the Hawks kind of where we wanted them to. And this is where you need to keep your foot on that gas. Where I talk about energy at the top of the quarters. You got to come out of each quarter, I, uh, you know, with energy. You got to start it with energy. And here we go. You know, this is just another example of it. And they roll right over us. They're up 14 on us now as we go into the final quarter. And we see Cam started off with a beauty of a layup. He hits a three. But the Hawks just relentless from three. They just don't stop hitting them. Uh, we see Quick hit another one. They cut the lead to 10. Uh, but the Hawks, again, just kept it coming. And they pull away. And we end up losing. 112 to 99 was the final score. Uh, quickly had a career high, 16 bounds. I hate having career highs in games like this, though. Uh, you want to get the win. You know, you want to have a career high in a win, especially in a statement game like that against the Hawks. Uh, a lot of little things, right? Um, free throws. We got to capitalize on our free throws. If we're getting to the line, we got to get the free points. It just comes with the territory. You got to get them, man. Like, that's one thing I used to love about Kobe is he, he took such pride in taking free throws because they're free shots. Like, he'll, he would have been the first to tell you. It's a free bucket. You better hit that bucket, you know? So that gets me mad. The perimeter defense, the lack thereof, just continues to be a problem. Uh, energy at the top of the quarters, as I've been talking about. All things that are in our control, you know, so we got to really work on these. Uh, it's still early in the season, of course, but you want to start picking them apart and really start knocking them out of the way. And like I say, every morning drive, start turning the corner, you know, so it, it's not going to get easier for us either. We got a tough schedule ahead. We got a double header, uh, you know, back to back this weekend, Sixers on Friday night. And then we got the Celtics on Saturday. So it's going to be a tough weekend. We're going to have to really dig deep and uh, and play our best ball. We need to com play a complete 48 minutes. We have yet to do it. If we can play a complete 48, we're going to be a tough team to beat. I'll say it every time. Uh, uh, congrats to uh, Petrus for winning the, the raffle uh, for the two tickets to the Knicks Thunder game. I tweeted that out. I uh, appreciate all the support. As always, you know that. Stay locked in with TK Dub. We got a new TK Weekly coming out this Monday with myself, uh, Kyle Maggio, and Sean Geddes. So make sure you stay locked in there. We do giveaways all year, you know, so make sure you're following both accounts and we'll get it rocking. All right, I appreciate you guys. Enjoy your weekend. I'm out. Peace.